So it's uh, a cloudy, drizzly Friday here in beautiful Buffalo. And uh, as in most cities that we go, we find the nice wealthy neighborhoods that tend to be for the wealthy, corporate, corrupt Democrats. So there you see uh, the first of many signs in this North Buffalo neighborhood, that one's a little crinkled, that say, write down Byron Brown. And as we drive slowly through this block, uh, the houses will get nicer and you'll start seeing more write down Byron Brown signs, write down Byron Brown. And uh, as we drive down a little further, you're gonna start seeing the houses get nicer and nicer. Here in North Buffalo, there's a big write down Byron Brown sign. A nice house across the street there. Put another write down Byron Brown sign here. Elect Mayor Byron Brown, elect Mayor Byron Brown. And the houses are pretty nice, pretty big over here as opposed to the east side which is fairly poor uh, majority black there's another one it's behind this tiny little planted tree right down byron brown and uh this is very 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 uh it's it's very similar in other major cities where we go that are highly gentrified Another <laughs> right down Byron Brown lawn sign. Not a single India Walton sign. Not either. a single India Walton sign. Um, and why do you think that is? This is North Buffalo, uh, this suburban neighborhood. Uh, pretty wealthy by the size of the homes. And uh, as you could, you know, as you could see uh, in these wealthier areas that are kind of right off of main strips that have been built up. Here's some more. Elect Byron Brown, write down Byron Brown. <laughs> write down Byron Brown. Uh, across the street, write down Byron Brown. Um, they're right near uh, main roads that have, you know, gentrification. Um, you have brand new restaurants, brand new bars, brand new Whole Foods uh, around this neighborhood. So, I mean, I haven't seen one India Walton sign in this whole neighborhood. Right down Byron Brown, right down Byron Brown. On the left, right down Byron Brown. Elect Mayor Brown, right down Byron Brown. In so many cities, it is a tale of two cities where you can be in this area in North Buffalo that have nice suburban homes. They're obviously, they obviously seem to be supporting one candidate. And then you go I don't know, we could probably drive 10 to 15 minutes from here. It is, in some areas, it looks like a war zone or a bomb has been dropped. Uh, empty lots, a sea of empty lots. Uh, really, really poor, really, really impoverished. And India Walton signs. So now we're on the east side of Buffalo. Uh, definitely more impoverished. Uh, majority black. India Walton sign less signs in general but you can see vacant lots vacant lots vacant lots uh, looks pretty similar to parts of Flint Detroit Cleveland Milwaukee it's definitely not where we just were 15 minute drive. The uh, streets have, uh, let's just say, a little rougher on the tires. Empty lots. India Walton on this side. With a, there's a Black Lives Matter sign. Um, less signs. Uh, but when you see signs, it's generally for India Walton. Here's another one. And this part of town, the east side uh, of Buffalo, which is where India Walton is from, more empty. <laughs> uh, 
you know, these are the kind of places uh, where voter turnout is typically low because people who live in parts of cities that have been badly left behind, whether it's, you know, the poor parts of Detroit, Flint, Buffalo, uh, Chicago, D.C., L.A., Portland, San Francisco, uh, you grow apathetic. You grow, you know, to not believe even voting matters. And that's where the capitalist class wants you. India Walton sign. India Walton signs on both sides of the street. And you could just see, I mean, uh, empty lots, empty land, grass that's not kept, homes that are pretty run down. So this is what they call gentrification, folks, where you have parts of town that mayors and politicians like Byron Brown pour millions into. They hand real estate developers contracts and totally ignore and let rot these types of communities. This kind of reminds me of South Bend, Indiana, where, you know, Mayor McKinsey, I mean, Mayor Pete, uh, they made it seem like he brought back South Bend, revived South Bend. Yeah, he bulldozed a thousand homes in a thousand days. There's another empty lot and, you know, Homes used to be here. Um, more empty lots. And you know, the, the Byron Brown or defenders of these politicians that bulldoze homes would say, well, they were decrepit or oh, they were you know abandoned or oh, they were a blight. So we had to uh, cut them down. But they, even if that were the case, they have absolutely no plan for what to put in place. They're just leaving Seas of emptiness in whole communities. Indy Walton. So, you know, on the west side, excuse me, on the north side of Buffalo where we were, where really nice houses, in some cases, like mansions, it was nonstop Byron Brown signs. Here on the east side, here's another India Walton sign. So you could really tell the difference between parts of highly gentrified cities, particularly the wealthy affluent parts, predominantly white people. Therefore, the establishment, corrupt politician who, you know, sprinkles in uh, all the stuff that resonates with them about, oh, socialism, oh, defund the police, uh, that makes them scared of or uh, uh, negative towards somebody like India Walton. And then you have these parts of towns that are just falling apart, completely ignored by mayors like Byron Brown, uh, who are working class, poor, in most cases, majority black, brown. They're supporting uh, a working class candidate, a, a black woman, India Walton.